It's easier to watch March Madness without cable than ever. In this video, we show you five great ways to catch all the March Madness 2022 action. Yeah, you can stream March Madness without cable and not miss a minute of the action. From the selection show on March 13th all the way to the national championship in New Orleans on April 4th. First, we'll cover the NCAA men's basketball tournament schedule, because that determines when you need to sign up for one of the five streaming services that make it possible to watch the NCAA tournament without cable, and when you should cancel by if you don't want to keep your subscription after the college basketball season is over. Then we'll quickly review the channels that air all the tournament action and the best streaming options to get those networks. We'll quickly cover the cost of each option and let you know what our favorite way to watch the Final Four is. So let's dive in. Selection Sunday tips off March Madness. In 2022, it's airing on March 13th on CBS. The men's college basketball tournament games begin on March 15th, and the Final Four is on April 2nd. The action wraps up with the championship game on April 4th. All of the options we're going to mention can be signed up for one month and then canceled so you can keep your costs under control. Yeah, now let's cover the networks needed to watch March Madness. In 2022, CBS Sports and the Turner Networks will air all 67 games of the tournament across TBS, CBS, TNT, True TV, and their digital platforms, including March Madness Live, which is a way to watch March Madness online with a participating cable or satellite subscription login. Unfortunately, there's no real way to watch March Madness for free, unless you have an over-the-air antenna connected to your TV. And even then, that would just get you CBS, which isn't airing the Final Four or national championship game this year. Yeah, and a departure from previous years, you will only be able to watch the Final Four and national championship game on TBS, which requires a subscription to a streaming service that carries that station. Knowing what channels you need gives you a game plan for watching March Madness action through a live TV streaming service. As we show in our article on the topic on Frugal Rules, Selection Sunday will be aired on CBS. The first four games will be aired on True TV and TBS. The first and second rounds will air on CBS, TBS, TNT, and True TV. The regional semifinals and finals will air on CBS and TBS. And as we already said, the final four and championship game will air on TBS. Now let's look at the top live TV streaming services to get those channels now. We're going to start with Sling TV. Sling organizes its channels into two packages, orange and blue, each costs $35 a month. For March Madness, you're going to want Sling Blue, which includes TBS, TNT, and True TV. And that will get you a lot of the action, but Sling TV does not carry CBS. The most affordable way to watch March Madness is by pairing a Sling Blue subscription with an antenna. For a one-time upfront cost of about $50, you'll get all your locals free for life. Yeah, but if you don't want to deal with an antenna, or you live somewhere where an antenna isn't going to provide a reliable, clear coverage, then another option is to pair a Sling Blue subscription with Paramount+. Plus. This slimmed-down streaming service includes four channels of live CBS TV, including your local CBS affiliate. For just $9.99 a month, you'll get access to CBS, plus all the other great on-demand shows and movies on Paramount+. Plus. While Paramount Plus was letting subscribers of their $4.99 a month essentials plan stream NFL games at time of filming and had not offered that same deal for March Madness games on CBS. You can learn more about the streaming service in our review video now. If you choose to watch March Madness on Paramount Plus and Sling TV's Blue Package, you'll pay $45. Our next three options are more expensive because they are true full cable replacements that include all your local channels. Let's start with Direct TV Stream. At $70 a month, it's double the cost of Sling Blue. But if you don't want to cobble together multiple services and get everything you need to watch March Madness without cable, it may be easier for you. Direct TV Stream has four packages, ranging from $69.99 to $149.99 a month. The base package, Entertainment, comes with more than 65 channels, including all your locals and every channel you need for the basketball tournament at time of filming. Let's move on to our fourth way to stream March Madness, Hulu with Live TV. Like Direct TV Stream, a Hulu Live subscription will cost you $70 a month. It has every channel you need for the tournament, along with all your local channels, ESPN Plus and Disney Plus. If you don't already subscribe to these services and you're looking for a complete cable replacement, this could work for you. Let's move on to our final way to stream March Madness without cable, YouTube TV. 
This option is a bit cheaper than Hulu Live and DirecTV Stream and includes all your local channels and a great selection of popular news, sports, and entertainment networks. Yeah, what we appreciate about YouTube TV is its simplicity. It has just one package and one price. Now that we're at the end of our video, you might have noticed Fubo TV and Philo aren't on our list. That's because Fubo TV doesn't have the Turner Networks and Philo doesn't have any sports. I know we said earlier there's no way to watch March Madness for free, and that is true. But if you want to keep your costs at an absolute minimum, you could sign up for a free trial of YouTube TV when March Madness starts. At time of filming, it was offering a two-week free trial if you signed up by March 16th. If you time it right, you could sign up for YouTube TV on March 16th, cancel on day 14, and sign up for a five-day trial of DirecTV Stream on April 2nd, and then cancel before the end of the trial period. Remember that these services keep track down to the second of when you sign up, so you'll need to know what time you signed up by and cancel before then. Well, that does it for this review. Let us know what option you think is best in the comments below. Who are you rooting for this March Madness? Yeah, and if you haven't already, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can get all our latest news and reviews when they drop. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on our next video.